Okay, so these are the settings that I use to set up my program. I'm gonna press File, New. Now under the Advanced tab, you're gonna copy my settings here, okay? You can actually use any dimensions or frame rate that you want and then make default and then press Create. Now I'm gonna show you how exactly I set up my workspace because I think this is really important. Now you wanna go to Window and you're gonna copy all the check marks that I have, okay? And uncheck mark anything that's not there. Most of the default stuff that comes with the program is garbage, okay? I only use these specific windows and that's it. Now that you have all the correct windows, you can just move them around how you want it. You can do it how I have it set up. I prefer this setup, but hey, whatever floats your boat. Now in the timeline menu, uh, there's a little tiny hamburger menu on the top right, and then you're gonna press customize timeline tools. You just wanna copy what's selected and what's deselected, okay? Now you see this stupid little icon right here? You wanna click and hold that icon, and you wanna make sure auto keyframe is off, okay? You wanna turn off auto keyframe. Make sure it's un check. Now this is personal preference, but I recommend this. Now if you go to the swatches menu, if you want a pretty color palette like this, the default color palette for flash, it, it it's butt cheeks, okay? Like, I don't know who uses these colors anymore and why these still exist. Click the little hamburger menu on the top right, go to replace colors, and you're gonna pick that file that I have in the description link below, and that will replace your colors, and then you're gonna go to that same menu, and then you're gonna press save as default. Now, I use custom shortcuts because I think it speeds up my workflow, and I highly recommend that you do it too. Um, but you can keep all the default hotkeys if you want. I have it specifically set up this way where all the shortcuts that I use is like all bunched up in one spot. Now pick a button layout that you already have a muscle memory in. So like for me, I personally play a lot of first person shooters. So a lot of my hockeys are in the, you know, WASD area. If you use other hockeys in say like another art program, then yeah, it's like change your hockeys to that. Like it doesn't really matter. What matters is that you're not looking down at your keyboard trying to figure out which button is which, okay? Now this list of keyboard shortcuts, this is pretty much all the main keyboard shortcuts that that I use when I'm using this program. Okay, now you are finally ready to animate whatever you desire, okay? All my tutorials will be based from this setup, all right? But, now listen to me, okay? Before you do anything else, you have